apologies to the gentlemen and ladies who are helping us with the production whose names did not go in the program. Mr. Al Terrell operating the spotlight, follow spot, Mr. Ron Dennis, Ms. Millie Buford is operating the recording equipment, and Mr. Rob Waters in the back with the video camera. Thank you very much.
just are grateful that your gifts you saw fit to use to help us. We understand that if you help one of us, you help us all. If this church grows, all churches grow. If we can lift up the spirit here in song, we can do it everywhere. And we become one in his name and for his purpose. We're so grateful to you. Thank you very much. And now the person whose idea this was, the Reverend Harry J. White, Jr., pastor of our church. Usually when I am tired and have very few words to say, I let my wife speak, and she covers all bases. The only thing that I can really say this evening is my, 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 my. Weren't we truly blessed? It's just amazing to see God at work in the diversity of black people. We differ in skin tone and we differ in the texture of our hair. We differ in our gifts. But when you look at us, you have to admit that we are an extremely talented and gifted people. Mm -hmm. I said here, give yourselves a hand. You are. And I said that I marveled at the genius of the Jenkins and uh, this ensemble that they have here today reminding us of the history of black people and a treasure that was given to us unknowingly. White people gave us Jesus not for the good that we were to receive but for another reason. But it shows how God can take that which is evil and turn it into good. And we learned about Jesus. And Jesus became an integral part of our lives. It became our survival, or he became our survival kit. And it's a treasure that we should hold on to. God has given us this church and this building, and we should take pride in it, not in the building, but in the gift that he has given to us. We should love his church with all of our hearts and our souls and our minds, the treasure that he has given to us. Long before there was a Jimmy Swagger preaching like black folk, my granddaddy and my daddy used to preach the gospel like that and didn't make the fortune that Jimmy Swagger is making today. He stole that from the black church and is capitalizing on it now. Long before there was a shoeler in Los Angeles, California, preaching a positive message, a positive gospel of the power of positive thinking, the black preacher in the black church was preaching that sermon every Sunday morning, giving black people a reason to go out from Monday through Saturday and struggle and survive and come back on church to church on Sunday morning and shout for joy in the Lord. And so we have much to be thankful for. And let's not take the treasure and bury it in the ground. And when the master comes looking for it, we won't know where to find it. But let's take this history that we were reminded of this evening, the history of black people and the struggle to be somebody and the part that the church has played. Let's take that history and pass it on as other ethnic groups do to succeeding generations to these young folk out here who don't know about Jesus and don't know about the church, we have the mandate to lift up this message and this history and make sure that a black child, that there is no black child in the city of Philadelphia that does not know that he or she is somebody because he and she belong to Almighty God. I want to thank you for your support I want to thank uh, the Renovation Committee of the Mortgage Liquidation Committee uh, for their efforts. Sister White and Brother in Abinette, I have to give him credit, who is the co-chairperson. Uh, and all of these hard-working people who love, first of all, the Lord, and also love this church that we call our home. We thank you so much for your support. 
and for your being here today. May God bless you, and may he take you safely home, and we invite you to come back and to worship with us again. Thank you so much. Let us stand. <laughs> As we might just bow our heads in a moment of closing prayer, Eternal Father, again, we thank thee for this day. We thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit that reveals to us all things. We thank you for the revelation that we receive today through this presentation of the history of our people in song and in words. And now, may we not forget that we are special, unique creations in your sight. And as we leave from this place, may we go forth charged up, fired up, to keep the story and the message alive. We ask it in the name of Jesus, whom we call our Christ and our Lord and our liberator. In his name, amen. amen.